This video shows how to install the DH36X analyzer. There are 7 procedures totally. To unpack and install the analyzer, some tools should be prepared. For example, scissors, multimeter and flat screwdriver. Here is the requirements of installation, please follow it strictly. Here is the damage inspection, once you find the carton is damaged, please contact your agent urgently. Check the goods on the packing list. Now we are going to introduce the external instruction. On the front panel, this is touch screen. This is indicator light. This is RF card reader. This is thermal printer. This is aspiration key. On the left side panel, this is power switch. The CRP reagent R1 and R2 will be stored in the reagent house. R2 is installed in the small refrigerator. On the right side panel, there are four USB interfaces. This is LAN port. When you moving the analyzer, please follow the handling marks under below. On the rear panel, the green port is connected to LICE 1. The white port is connected to Diluent. This is Diluent Float Sensor Connector. The red port is connected to the waste container. This is Waste Sensor Connector. Ground line interface. Main power switch. Cooling fan. Next we are going to connect the analyzer. Measure the neutral to earth voltage on the socket. The voltage should be less than 5 volts. Measure 3 sets of voltage. This is the voltage requirement. Open the right door. Remove the clip on the horizontal motor belt first. Remove the other clip on the vertical motor belt. Before you connect lies, remove all the aluminum foil on the bottle first. The cap of reagent bottle shouldn't be screwed too tight. Otherwise, the reagent cannot be aspirated. Install the waste float sensor. Then install the diluent float sensor. After that, install the CRPR1 and R2 reagent. The aluminum foil of R1 reagent should be removed too. Finally, power on the analyzer. <laughs> 